Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing, especially because my voice does not normally sound like I have a frog in my throat. <laughs> um, and if you're back, welcome back. I apologize in advance for the hoarseness in my voice. I have some really wicked allergies right now <laughs> that are just making uh, talking in general kind of a an interesting process. So anyway, I'm super excited to be here with you guys today because I have a sneak peek to share with you all. This was sent over by the fabulous folks over at Diamond Art Club and will be released tomorrow, Saturday, which is February 12th. Yes, February 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond Level Rewards tier members. And then half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for the general release. That's true of both this kit and the rest of the new releases this week. So the particular new release that I have to share with all of you is... The Oracle from the artist Amy Brown. This is going to be a square drill diamond painting kit. So we've got the blue and the logo here that also let us know about that. Let's go ahead and get into this. I want to show you what all is included in your kit. You guys, I really, really love Amy Brown's artwork a lot. And I just, I'm excited for this one. This one is just very dreamy. It has all the fantasy and uh, whimsical elements that I truly, truly adore. Now, um, on the Diamond Art Club box, we do have some how-tos and instructions on the back that you're welcome to take a look at if you're new to diamond painting. Speaking of being new to diamond painting, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, and if you would like to save 20% off of your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, I do have a discount code that you're welcome to use that will save you 20% off of your first purchase. Um, that discount code is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and then my last name, no, <laughs> not my last name, my first name, K-A-T-I-E, and then the number 20. Um, I may make a small commission if you choose to use that, so please, please, please don't feel obligated. I'm gonna show you a couple other spots that there are discount codes included. I always just say don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club because there's just account codes everywhere. They don't want you to pay full price. Now, everything that's included in your box um, includes a basic toolkit. So this is one of the older versions of Diamond Art Club's toolkits, and it really, truly does have everything you're gonna need to do your diamond painting. So uh, for starters, you're gonna have a pen and a squishy there to make it a little more comfy. You're gonna have a pair of sharp, pointy tweezers that those come specifically with the square drill diamond painting kits for Diamond Art Club. You have a clear plastic tray here, as well as a set of plastic baggies you can use to store your leftover diamonds in. We have a couple of plates of the pink heart wax, which is actually really excellent quality. Uh, just don't forget to take that plastic cover off before you try to stab your pen in it. <laughs> we also get a thin plastic multi-placer, so um, it's also it's nice that it's a smaller size, so if you're newer to diamond painting, that'll ease you into multi-placing. Now, I always mention in these videos, really, um, because I see this brought up very, very often, um, people wondering whether or not the kit that they're purchasing is gonna come with one of the newer toolkits. Uh, this is one of Diamond Art Club's older toolkits. A couple of months ago, Diamond Art Club did start uh, introducing some newer upgraded toolkits into their, their kits, their diamond painting kits. However, it's gonna be a transition over to those being in all of the kits. It's gonna take some time. Diamond Art Club isn't even advertising on the website these newer toolkits. So, um, I don't suggest like going all out trying to buy a kit just in hopes of getting your hands on a new toolkit. Um, like I said, these these current toolkits of the one that I just showed you has everything you need to do your diamond painting. Um, and if you are really, really, really dying to know and trying to predict if a kit that you're looking at is going to come with one of those new kits, uh, new diamond. <laughs> new toolkits. Words are hard tonight, you guys. Um, I recommend watching sneak peek videos like this one. Uh, it's not a not a hard and fast way to know, but it's one way to maybe get a sense for it. Anyway, also included is this small logbook sticker. I use this in my paper logbook because it has all of the info and the original artwork for this kit. Uh, some people will put this on the side of the box because it helps them sort of organize and sort through their stash and other people will get creative with these and find ways to like make it into a minder or something like that, which props to you if you're creative. I am not. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into this plastic bag or dust cover here. I wanna show you the rest of the contents of this kit. So we have Diamond Art Club's signature very soft canvas. It's a really nice material. 
and ooh, look at these colors oh this is so happy i love it already okay so there we go okay it's gonna take us it's gonna take a minute to lay flat we'll give it a minute here but look at our mermaid friend all right included in here we have our big bag of diamonds we'll, <laughs> we'll take a look at these in a minute hopefully it'll be a little less klutzy then we have a how-to booklet, step-by-step -step instructions, some tips about uh, how to do your diamond painting. There's a discount code there. Um, I also recommend, as always, taking a look on YouTube for videos that will give you uh, visual, if you're a visual learner like me, tips on how to diamond paint if you're new. Here we have a big sticker sheet. There is all the info about the artwork here, including a spot to write your start and end date. Uh, this is going to be 56 by 71 centimeters. Again, it's going to have square diamonds. And look at this beautiful original artwork. I really love Amy Brown's artwork a lot. Over here on the right, we have all of our stickers. So these are all pre-cut for you. If you like to kit up your diamonds into storage containers, which is something I like to do, um, the fact that these are pre-cut does make that process go super quickly. Um, over here we have the color code. This is the same as the DMC color code. In Diamond Art Club's numbering though, any numbers under the number 150 are going to be a special kind of diamond called ABs. I will tell you more about those once we actually get to looking at the diamonds themselves, but it looks like we're gonna have four of those AB drills in this kit. Taking a look at the symbols that Diamond Art Club has used in the 40 colors in this kit, that's actually, that's not a ton of colors. <laughs> it, I bet there's gonna be some good color blocking in here. But just taking a quick cursory look at these symbols, I don't really think I'm seeing any that off the top of my head look like ones that I'm going to mix up. These all look pretty distinct and different from one another. That combined with how clearly Diamond Art Club usually prints their canvases, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a pretty easy time. <laughs> so let me take you on a little tour of the different elements of the canvas. Up here at the top, Diamond Art Club's branding. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying whatsoever. The glue here, look, it's literally sparkly. Oh my gosh, I love Diamond Art Club's canvas is so much. Look at the sparkle. There's a little something in there. I'm gonna pick that off. What is that little like? dust or something um but yes i love the diamond art clips maybe that's just nothing maybe it's just a little miscolor on the canvas um yeah diamond art club's canvas being sparkly is just happy <laughs> so diamond art club does use poured glue it's a nice like kind of thick poured glue it's almost springy when you are placing diamonds on it and it holds diamonds really well and they're, that in combination with the canvas material means that it's also going to lay flat really well as well here we go on the top left, we have a legend with all of our symbols. We have the same thing over here on the bottom right. Bottom left, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork as well as all the information about the kit, like the size and the artist. Now, of course, I always point out that, look, we have this ever important copyright symbol. This means that Amy Brown, the artist of this beautiful painting, has both given her permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and also is being compensated for the use of her artwork. So that's super important to me to just support companies that are supporting artists. Diamond Art Club is one of those companies. Here at the bottom is all of their social media info as well as yet another discount code. And over here is info about their lifetime warranty. If you ever run into any issues with the glue or the canvas or the diamonds or anything whatsoever, uh, contact their customer service. They have email and I believe live chat on their website and they also are responsive to Facebook Messenger. Uh, so those are a couple of different ways you can get in touch with them. So for example, that little speck I was showing you up at the top of the canvas that I really think is gonna amount to absolutely nothing. If I did have some sort of problem because of that, I would contact Diamond Art Club and I'm quite sure that they would get it taken care of. So let's take a look at the canvas itself and see what we think of the symbol clarity. You can tell right off the bat that we're gonna have lots of that color blocking that I was talking about earlier. Color blocking is when you have large sections. Like look in here, we have all of the same symbol. This is gonna be white, that background's all white. Um, and since it's all color blocked, you're gonna be able to, if you want, to use a multi-placer um, that'll make that go a lot more quickly. And you're also gonna to get to have those colors in your tray for quite a while. 
it just makes that whole process um, of doing the diamond painting go quickly. Though honestly, having it done quickly is not the goal. You should just be enjoying the process. In general, this looks like it's is going to have a lot of color blocking. Um, look at the little baby seahorse. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, I was I was just thinking like seahorses are basically dragons, right? I think that they are in like Japanese lore or culture. Like seahorses are considered like children of dragons. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking back to, I, I was really into the Fruits Basket anime a while back and manga. So that's where that kind of thought comes from. Totally random. Look at how adorable this is. Oh my gosh, this is precious. So, so precious. Now it looks like we're going to have just the tiniest bit of confetti here in her face. So confetti, I just wanted to explain confetti versus color blocking. Color blocking is like I showed you with the white background. Confetti is where you have like here in her headpiece, lots of color changes. Um, you'll be using your, sing your single placer for those sections and whatnot. So um, yeah, but mostly color blocking. I think that this is one of those kits that would work up pretty quickly. Let's do a measurement together. I wanna see if we're true to size as we usually are with Diamond Art Club. We are at 71 centimeters tall and then 56 centimeters wide. So yes, we are true to size. Oh, and there you go. You can also, you can see most of the artwork now and frame if you just, you know, flip your device sideways. <laughs> Let's take a look together at the diamonds. We do have the name of the artwork here on the bag. Moment of appreciation and silence as always for the beautiful packing job that, I don't know, maybe I could replicate this one, <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> So we have one bag of 3865 right here, but I am quite sure that we're gonna see more bags of this in other strands. Yeah, like I see down here. Uh, this is gonna be that background color. Uh, lots of beiges here, two of 3855. Look at that mint. Ooh, that's so pretty. Now these are square drills, like I mentioned, and these are Diamond Art Clubs. They feel like they're probably Diamond Art Clubs new square drills, or at least most of them are. Uh, so back, I don't know, in the fall, I think, Diamond Art Club did begin to manufacture all of their diamonds in-house, both round and square. I find that it's much easier to tell the difference between the old and the new squares rather than the old and the new rounds because the new square diamonds all have the same number of facets cut on the top. They all have 13 facets cut on the top. Whereas the older diamonds from Diamond Art, square diamonds from Diamond Art Club have a mix of nine and 13 facets cut on the tops. So the new square drills I find to be really super shiny as well as consistent in size. They're so lovely to work with. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 bags of this 3865 white background color in this strand. So 11 total for counting the, the straggler bag in the other strand. And then over here, a couple of bags of this, ooh, that pretty buttery yellow. So, so pretty. I'm a sucker for muted pastels. It's, it's not particularly a secret, but it is a bit of a problem. <laughs> Here is our first AB. Oh, such a gorgeous neutral AB drill. So AB, if you're new, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. If you take a look at the tops of these diamonds, you can see that super extra sparkly and iridescent coating on the top. This one is kind of reflecting, I see like pinks and yellows, maybe some blues and greens as well. Um, it's a little bit subtle, but definitely has lots of extra sparkle. Um, this is just going to draw your eye to the areas that these have been charted. It's gonna pick up a little bit of the colors around it as well. And it's just gonna really enhance the areas where it's been placed really beautifully. So that's our first AB, that pretty like reddish coral. And our last strand of diamonds that we have the fewest numbers of, okay, reds. And oh, here we go, back to back, two ABs here. It's like Christmas, but like brighter Christmas. <laughs> 114 is a really bright red AB, and 135 is kind of a, I don't like to call this like a pukey green, but like, I call it chartreuse. <laughs> so here's two more ABs. And I will take some time to point out where these different AB drills are gonna go in this canvas once we're done looking at all the diamonds. But four of four ABs, ooh, 
Let me not <laughs> rip that. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to, yep, go, way to go, Katie. I'm gonna bag that back up. I'm such, I am such a klutz tonight, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, 141 is a really pretty white neutral AB. Um, okay, I wanna be careful with that because there is a little hole in there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> pinks and greens and lots of beiges and then more greens and pinks my gosh these colors really are my happy place here love it all right let me set this carefully to the side <laughs> future katie fix that please okay let's take a minute and i am going to show you where these four ab diamonds are going to go we'll start at the bottom and kind of work our way up so taking a look we have that really pretty kind of taupe neutral ab here highlighting the lightest parts of these rocks these stones uh, as well as the one that the mermaid is sitting on and over here as well we have that chartreuse ab ooh, through her tail fin that's so pretty we have the bright red ab kind of in the um brightest red parts of the seahorses the ends of her fins on her tail um we have the white ab Ooh, the white ab is sprinkled all through like her waist down like her tail and body and below oh my gosh she's gonna look like she's sparkling that's gonna be beautiful um, as we keep moving up, we do have a little bit more of the chartreuse AB highlighting here, as well as some of the taupe AB in her tail. I also see some of the red AB, just a little bit outlining and highlighting here on her tail. More of the bright red AB highlighting a bit of the dragon, the seahorse. See, I, even I just want to call it a dragon, the little baby, baby water dragon. <laughs> As we keep moving up just a little bit here, her hair has the bright red AB highlighting throughout. Love that sparkle's gonna be so pretty. Yes, highlighting all through her hair. Uh, these white parts that are kind of her headband are holding this headpiece on. The white here is white AB. Um, some more of the bright red AB here in our seahorse friend, as well as some white ABs. Just gonna make his shell, the seashell sparkly. And I think that's it. So I really adore the AB placement in this. This is this is what I'm noticing seems to be their their pattern and their approach to Amy Brown's artwork in particular. Um, Amy Brown has done I've um, I've I've done sneak peeks or unboxings for two other kits of hers one i think was just last week that had like the purple dragon that was drinking the coffee and it was a really similar concept where the background was like really muted um and so diamond art club really intentionally focused it seems the ab's like in the subject so that your your eye really is drawn towards that and so that it even pops that much more off of the background so I, I really, really love that. This is going to be so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. So um, you guys, let me give you just a really quick recap. The name of this piece is The Oracle. It's from the artist Amy Brown. It is 56 by 71 centimeters, has square diamonds, and has a total of 40 colors. Everything about this kit is looking absolutely stunning. And I, I am not sure off the top of my head whether this kit is going to be limited edition or not. Diamond Art Club has this year um, began to have more of their kits be limited edition runs. Um, they're running out of space in their warehouse. So they're also discontinuing kits more quickly. Um, and so I recommend that if you love this piece and if it is marked limited edition, which I will leave a note down in the description box, if this will be limited edition as soon as I find out. <laughs> um, but I recommend jumping on it if if you do think this is a piece that you would like and it is listed as a limited edition or a final edition. So um, this will release along with the other new releases this week, tomorrow, Saturday, February 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond Level Rewards members. And then half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for 
the general release. So be sure to set your alarms, be watching your emails and your texts. But in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. I hope this was so helpful for you guys in deciding if this is gonna be on your shopping list for the weekend or wish list for the future. Um, if it was helpful, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, I would absolutely love to have you be a part of my little corner of the internet here. So feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I hope you have a really, really wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.